Plains Pass. And Dragon's Rays Channeler. For Andrew. It's Tundra and Pass. Attacking with the Dragon's Rays Channeler. Snapcaster in response. And it gets bolted. Servell. Put Murktad in the yard. All right, lots of talking happening in the background. I prefer when magic tournaments feel like a library and everybody's just quiet. Shh. No joking around. Everybody's serious. No talking. Peace and quiet. <laughs> I like quiet magic tournaments. Uh, Lovely. No, I mean, yeah, they didn't. Ooh, playing right into days with that whole breacher. Ouch. Force pitching to Ferry and two Cervell triggers still in the stack. 17. Uh, I've got Delirium. Alright, a lot of effort for that whole breacher. Let's see if it pays off. No land. Uh, one moment it grows every time that gonna hurt. <laughs> Is it? Oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap! Okay. It resolved. It sounds like the players are having a really good time with this whole situation, and that's notable. I mean if you're if you're having fun and you're getting days undoing hold breachard, you're doing it right, everybody. There's a D20 to represent the treasures. No treasure token. But, uh, you know, we can't have everything. Um, yeah. I've got two one ones. <laughs> Robert says using tokens is lame and then was banned from the chat by the moderators. Goodbye, Roberts. Wasteland on Tundra. Come on, why now? Uh, ponder? Uh, All right, a ponder cast here. 93% favored for Jess, guys, says Twitch chat. 93%. Yeah, so grab this. Do this. And hit you for three. Um, yeah. Cast it. Hard casting Shark Typhoon, leaving up Plains and Mountain. Interesting. Attacking with the Dragon's Rage Channel for two. Risky attack, considering. Attacking with Hull Breacher. Casting a Brainstorm, making a shark. The blue die represents a shark. Pick this card. Yep. Uh, 
And then return one of them to your hand, draw a card, pass to you. All right, there's the Dragon's Rage Channeler again. This board is looking tough to beat for Delver at the moment, though. Prismatic ending on one of them. This is crazy. All right, player is moving on to game two. Turn one Delver for Andrew. I'm going to fetch before I get stifled. Yeah, go ahead. It's getting an island. Roberts likes stifling opponents. I mean, if you've ever s you if you want to feel a, a rush, everybody stifle your opponent's Gristlebrand tr uh, activation. Stifle your s opponent's Storm Trigger. Stifle your opponent's Wasteland. What what's the what's the wildest thing you've ever stifled, chat, and YouTube? If you're watching right now, tell me what's your wildest stifle target. And, and the we all want to know. Crashing footfalls. <laughs> um, standstill. How the heck do you stifle a standstill? Yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> What's up, Michael? Five two. There's that thunderous wrath again. Flip Stelver and Miracle five damage. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, was uh, the game was he was an 8 8. I exiled three more. So he's oh, okay. yeah. 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 um, he yeah. 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 I no longer has the Lyrium. Well, it just turns it into a swap now. I'm going to do combat. Because it's another person I thought that doesn't have to be one tap. Oh, right. So he's 11. Yeah. Fluster Storm on the Thunderous Wrath. Blue White Narset Emblem activation. I don't even know what the emblem is. Coutinho says a Jace Ultimate. <laughs> I was talking about it at the shop. I can't remember who I was playing. It might even be up on the YouTube channel. I can't remember. But I had a game where I Jace Ultimate and I lost because my opponent also Jace Ultimate and theirs was better than mine. Is that, is that dramatic? That has nothing to do with Stifle, but that's a moment I remember from my Magic career. Opponents can't cast non-creature spells as a blue-white Narset ultimate? Damn. That's a tough one. Flying is too good. 
I love Nimble Obstructionist. I wish that card was more playable. Cycle, draw a card, stifle your thing. Dave Kaplan, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you, Dave. 30 gift subs on the channel for Dave Kaplan. Dave, one of our biggest supporters. Thank you, Dave. Number nine on the all-time gift sub leaderboard. Brainstorm on MopQ here with Delver Trigger on the stack. Bolt revealed on top. Remember the bobble trigger? That's good. Thinking about this land drop one more time. Expressive iteration. There's an expressive iteration cast by a non-delver. Somebody was talking about that earlier in chat. All right, Prismatic Ending takes out the Insectile Aberration. And a fetch for Andrew. Both of these players are 1-0 and o at this point. Yeah, this is round two. So one and zero. Oh. It's funny because like you look at that first, you can deck some planet and it starts to be. I'm like, oh, I don't. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 it's fine. What's he really doing? Oh, so here's a two, but so I have abilities. No, it's not really doing anything. It sticks around. Let's then get into doing the draw. Sulfuric vortex. Okay. Gonna quick lead, uh, quick read on it. Yeah. 
Prismatic ending with X being with colors being three, X being two. Targeting the sulfuric vortex. Andrew thinking about responding. Nope. Let's it let's it die. It actually goes into exile. Okay, there we go. We corrected. Yeah, so Fury Vortex has faded from legacy in recent years, but you'll see it occasionally. We need Sulfuric Vortex in modern. I don't know if it'll be uh fun in the format. Burn's already good, but I just like the card. And as we were discussing earlier. A big problem with Magic the Gathering is that Mark Rosewater doesn't listen to what I want. Yeah, we haven't seen Clothis in a long time. We haven't seen Clothis in a while. We need Clothis back. Those were the days. Five five Merc Tide. Just guy at seven. Oh, he's a There is a thunderous wrath in the graveyard, but no fetch to get Mystic Sanctuary for Andrew. We know Andrew has that kind of technology. Casting the brainstorm that was exiled with expressive iteration. There is a prismatic vista in play to help shuffle afterwards, potentially. We see a regular island, regular plains, snow mountain. Very interesting. Could be one turn left in, in on the clock if there's a bolt. Good catch, Andrew, on the Prismatic Vista fetch. Ends up getting a basic island. Another brainstorm. Just put off screen into the graveyard. Can we go back or maybe not? <laughs> um, I don't know. Okay, player is unsure if there was already a land drop this turn. With the with the bolt? 
Or the, the Sure. Uh, yeah, I just Pardon? didn't. Because I know there was a Vista in play for a while. There was. There was, I think there was a Vista in play for a full turn before this. Yeah. And I, I don't think. remember no, playing, no, playing no, well, because that's the uh, uh, So you might have, you might have a uh, uh, play. I'll, I'll, I'm fine with it. Uh, I'm fine. Because I will try this. If you counter it, game over. Yeah. Actually, um, hold on. Um, no, there are no mountains left. So this, um... Awkward. Okay. That's your game. <laughs> yeah. Because that, that was the thing. It's, um, I knew it. All right. Kind of a goofy ending here to game two. Going to game three. Luckily for the players, this is not the finals of the World Championship. Lucky for them. Looks like Andrew Mull to six or five. No, I said, do you have any quick game of Sorry. Okay. Go ahead. No once upon a time. I miss my ley lines of uh, sanctity. Uh, yes. uh, Delver on turn one. Looks like it resolves. Gets exiled. Turn to ponder. All right, just a bunch of land go turns to start off game three. Other than the swords on Delver. Three Volks on the table. Two Tundras, an island, and a prismatic vista. And a brazen bar were on end step. Cycling Shark Typhoon to make a 1 1 shark. Blocks the Brazen Borrower. Expressive iteration. I think we're going to see this resolve. Nope. Force pitching ponder on expressive iteration. Interesting. Seems aggressive to force that as the control deck. Of course, we don't know what's in Sam's hand. Uh, 
<laughs> Might have been better to force that power blast. Narset resolving is pretty good. I think you did last game. We know Andrew has a bolt in hand, which can kill Narset, but still. Still would, in theory, get an activation out of it. Uh, yeah, yeah, you have to be in jail. Uh, Need to deal with the six six Merc Tide. Ponder Shuffle. Looks like Andrew's excited about that. Okay. Yeah. That's you. Um, yeah. That's pretty good. Good. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. 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 Ponder. It's like a wasteland among the cards found and a Delver. Can't tell what the middle card is. Not yet. Treat the angels. <laughs> We've seen a lot of that card today. Did not expect that. So I'll fetch in response to the miracle trigger. Broken into card stolen. What? Is, what's happening? Force pitching Merc Tide on Entreat. All right, Entreat gets countered. The shop that had the Alpha Lotus stolen apparently got broken into again. Damn. I remember uh, another store had an Alpha Lotus stolen at one point. Wait, what happened with that? Did they ever resolve that? I have no idea. Either way, a sucky situation. We live in a messed up world, everybody. 
All kinds of crazy stuff going on. Expressive iteration. Robert says, this is why I won't leave the house with my legacy decks. I'd be broken if I lost my lands. I, I, honestly, I feel you. I feel you. Legacy decks are very expensive. It's a lot of money. Ah, Finch and Sparrow is this store. Oh, I'm sorry to hear all that. Wub, thanks for the follow. Welcome. Prismatic ending takes out Dragon's Rage Channeler. Another ponder. Ooh, Vortex again. Sure. Been awkward to have the Vortex and no creatures on the board, and now two creatures on the board for Jeskai. Ooh, this could actually go badly. Just this sulfuric vortex. Let's see. Got a quite a clock with hole breacher and snapcaster. Days undoing. Uh oh. Seven treasure tokens and turn is on. Okay, the turn will be ending here. Gentleman says, even though that sucks big time, I feel there are crazier things going on in the world right now. But then again, I live in Europe. I feel you, gentlemen. I, uh, magic cards is not the only, only thing going on. A lot of pain, a lot of suffering. Wish I could do more about it, really. Comics Mike, thanks for the follow. Welcome. I wonder if Mike likes comics. Probably. I said I'll be in exile because I think I played a land. This goes to the bottom. Pass to you. I think the Sulfuric Vortex just lost the game. Okay, all right, so maybe some answers here, but still at one life. All right, a fetch and ending the game on that. Wow. <laughs> 